have been watching the bear recently, so I've got a hankering to make an omelet. So we've got three eggs going in. Nice medium sized eggs. Three eggs is probably, an, I'd say, the, the perfect amount for a portion. And just slightly, lightly whip them. So what you're looking for here is um, the white and the yolk to be completely amalgamated. Like scrambled eggs and stuff, I actually prefer it when they're not. You get a sort of variety of textures. But an omelette is a little bit more of a, I guess a bit more of a puristic, uh, a puristic thing. So you want a nice consistent egg the whole way. This also gets a tiny little bit of air into the mix as well. So just taking your fork and sort of lifting them over, almost folding them and whisking them at the same time. A good amount of, uh, of unsalted butter, slightly controversially, I season my eggs. There's a big debate in the cooking world about, caused by uh, a guy, Harold McGee, on the science of cooking and food about how salt in eggs often um, basically coats the protein cells stops them from cooking and that's why you get watery eggs. The one thing I can say is I've, I've made a lot of omelets and fairly consistently it's nice to have seasoning all the way through the omelet. If you're using like cheese or or even like bacon on there which is going to season the mix then you don't need to worry too much about it. So what you're doing now so with the butter is we don't want it to be foaming at all. We want it to, you still can see the milk solids and it's just, literally just dissolved. You can see it's going to start to cook pretty much straight away. And the first stage of an omelette is basically similar to making scrambled eggs. Um, but yeah, so what we've got is, you can, you can see here, you've got a really low flame, but it's the lowest it can go. And it's actually still quite high. So in a domestic, you can actually get probably even more uh... well you can see it's, it's, it's you know it's barely barely cooking the thing is I think they used to do an omelette challenge on Saturday kitchen but um, the best thing I've ever seen is where uh, Tom Keller Thomas Keller came on from um, from America and he said um, he uh, he had to do the omelette challenge in, in a certain amount of time and he refused to do it um, quickly and it took something like five and a half minutes and at the end like a proper gangster he pulled out a black truffle and grated it all over the top uh, I just thought that was fucking legendary so just pull in the outside which is where it's going to start to cook first into the middle and you can see I'm just moving the, the, the pan slightly because this is a good way of seeing how evenly the eggs are cooking and don't forget the bottoms as well and then we want to spread around this sort of scrambled mixture nicely. So you can see this this part of the pan is a lot hotter. Just slightly moving this stuff, this part around now instead. And then that's basically it for the moving of the eggs really. It's one of those things, omelets. It's, uh, I think I remember reading in a book like where they can always uh, a chef can always potentially ask you when you're coming in your trial shift to make an omelet for them to see what your ability is like. I think it's one of those things. It's like a real um, you have to have a real appreciation for taking things slowly, taking time to do things, and just an understanding of your ingredient. Now, most some French people will probably take that off now. Um, but I think I, I like mine just slightly, slightly more cook, cooked than that. But you can see, like, basically the the egg on the bottom is is cooked, and it's still released slightly from the from the pan. So these are these are quite good pans for them, non-stick. And then you can actually just take it off now. So a little bit more salt now. I add my pepper now as well, and then the chives all the way through. Sometimes it can be a tad bland, I find on, but so you've really got to pay attention to what's inside the actual one. 
Now at this stage, if you wanted to add comp day or gruyere or something like that, that would be absolutely delicious. So you can see just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit more heat. And what we're going to do, just slightly fold it over. From that side. And then fold it over this side. And then just continue to cook, just for a little second more. And this is exactly how I like my, my omelets, just a tiny little bit uh, gooey in the middle. Add a tiny, tiny touch more butter. And just glaze it up. Just that added little bit of uh, luxury. So that's still cooking there. Uh, that's still cooking inside. Boom. See all these uh, viral things at the moment. It's like uh, made this meal with just three ingredients. Like this is just one meal made with yeah a couple of chives, salt and pepper. But but it is really just a celebration of butter and eggs. 